Breaking. Homeland Security is doing IT now. Hell yeah Trump. The left has made it abundantly clear that they do not want the United States to thrive which was confirmed by the numerous asinine policies they have pushed down the American people's throats over the last several years. Not only have we seen Democrats in power water down our nation's culture and border security by allowing illegals to flood into the country and then stay here on the taxpayer's dime, but now they are doing their best to make sure they can never be deported. After years of witnessing liberal politicians abuse the system, President Trump is in charge in doing his best to ensure that our immigration laws are followed again, and of course, the liberal snowflakes are melting at the news. Well, if we thought the left was throwing a temper tantrum before, we have not seen anything yet after what Homeland Security just announced. Since President Trump has been in office, all he has tried to do is re-establish law and order back in our nation which has been one hell of an uphill battle. Instead of Democrat politicians applauding Trump's desire to focus on strengthening our country by helping our citizens and deporting illegals, these race-baiting individuals instead they scream that Trump is racist. No matter what Trump does, the left is ready to block it by pushing some absurd feel-good argument that liberal sheep cling to without a moment's hesitation such as the no human is illegal nonsense. Yep, you have heard that mantra a few times over the last year. You see, all of the sudden people who come to America are not illegal, and they should be able to stay here and live off the government with no problems. Insanity, right? Well, this is the left we are talking about, and they hardly make sense, but that has not stopped them from trying to halt Trump from enforcing our immigration laws by harboring these illegals in cities across the nation. Now, the Department of Homeland Security is stepping in saying they will begin to issue criminal charges against elected officials of cities that will not cooperate with deportation efforts, and it is about damn time. Here is more from the Western Journal. Homeland Security Secretary Kirst Jim Nielsen confirmed Tuesday that her department has spoken to federal prosecutors about the possibility of leveling criminal charges against elected officials of cities that refuse to cooperate with federal deportation efforts. Nielsen revealed that a request has been submitted to the Justice Department for their review, according to the Daily Caller. The Department of Justice is reviewing what avenues might be available. Nielsen said during a Senate Judiciary Committee hearing. The context of this is of course not only putting my ICE officers at risk but also finding an efficient and effective way to enforce our immigration laws. Democrat Senator Kamala Harris of California, a state that is largely viewed as an illegal immigrant safe haven after legislation that protects them from federal prosecutors went into effect this year continued probing the secretary about the department's plans to go after sanctuary city leaders. Nielsen said she is not aware of any specific cases where the Homeland Department will criminally charge elected officials, but that her department was simply looking into the possibility. Harris' line of questions were in response to comments previously made by U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement Director Tom Homan who said during an interview earlier this month that the DOJ had been asked to look into criminal charges for elected officials with sanctuary policies as they are harboring illegal aliens. At that time, Hamam was responding to California's new law that gives added protections to illegal immigrants across the entire state and blocks federal immigration authorities from doing their job. The move to criminally charge elected officials of sanctuary cities would be an escalation of already heated tensions between immigration doves and the Trump administration. The White House is in an ongoing courtroom battle to defund sanctuary cities, with Attorney General Jeff Sessions actively trying to withhold criminal justice from localities that refuse to work with federal immigration agents. The escalation is also due to high-profile crimes committed by immigrants residing in the U.S. Crimes that immigration hardliners argue would never have happened if sanctuary policies were not in place. Some have even said sanctuary leaders should be held responsible for heinous crimes committed by illegal immigrants. Politicians don't get to pick and choose what laws to comply with, Rep. Todd Rockety told Fox News last month. Americans are dying because politicians sworn to uphold the law refuse to do so. Rockety a Republican congressman from Indiana who is running for U.S. Senate this year, 
introduced legislation that threatens elected leaders in sanctuary cities with prison time and fines. Rocketa's bill comes in the aftermath of the Kate Steinel verdict, in which an illegal immigrant, who had already been deported to Mexico five times, was acquitted for the 2015 killing of Steinel in San Francisco, a sanctuary city. It goes without saying that any elected official that is stopping illegals from being deported should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, but there is another way to get rid of these criminals once for all. If states cut off all welfare to illegal immigrants and those that are have been on it for more than one year, you can be sure the issue will rectify itself within a matter of months. The only reason these people are here and continue to come here is for all of the free benefits they receive, but if that were to end, these immigrants would head right back to wherever they came from with no problem. However, until government officials grow a spine and take drastic action against these criminals harboring illegals, this is the next best thing. Hopefully, this will wake enough of these bleeding hearts up to realize they are breaking the law and only doing more harm to the country than good. What do you think? Will this stop these states from harboring illegals in their cities, their cities?